Kobe. Hey. Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, everybody? Gabriel Santos here. And in today's video, we're going to talk about when will you be able to smoke weed again after a long break, right? And what kind of goes right into that same topic is how can you smoke weed responsibly, right? Especially after a history of irresponsibility, right? So the first thing I want to let you know is that I can totally relate, okay? I've been through this many times, and that has been kind of like the big question that I've been trying to solve all these years, right? How can we create responsible marijuana use? How can I, how can I reinstall a marijuana into my life without my life going downhill, right? Because in my past, I swear, I swore that the main issue in my life was marijuana. And so it's been this conflict of it's marijuana's fault. I need to get rid of it. Marijuana is awesome. But I just like, how can I use it in a, in a beautiful way, in a powerful way? Right. So it's like, ugh. right. And it's like, how many times am I going to go through this cycle before I figure it out or I make some kind of executive decision about weed right now? As a disclaimer, um, I don't know you, right? I only know myself. I only know my experiences as well as the people that I've coached. Now, there are a lot of trends, but just because what I say in this video worked for me and worked for others doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. And so take what works for you in these videos, try out what resonates with you and discard anything that doesn't feel good to you, right? So... <clears throat> there's a lot of different angles we can go about this question well let's start here <clears throat> what do you want what do you want okay not just with marijuana but your whole life what do you want now that might be a loaded question like really my whole life get a sense like no need to get serious just as you're watching this video, maybe press pause and reflect on what are just some basic things you want in your life. Okay, so for example, you might be like, you know, I want to feel at least a seven out of 10 happiness on a consistent basis. All right, good. Um, I want to get my first car. Great. Okay. Um, I want to smoke way less weed. Okay, good. How much weed? I don't know. Right. And so if we were to if we were to hyper focus on the area of weed, start to list out like what are some ways you do want to use weed? Okay, I want to use it to relax after work. Oh, good. Right. I want to use it to um, you know, uh, reflect deeply on my life uh, every now and then. Good. Right. What are some ways you don't want to use weed? Okay, I don't want to use it as my number one coping mechanism. Good. Right. I only want to spend like maybe a hundred dollars a month on it. Good, right? And so as you start to flesh out a vision for yourself, the question then becomes, okay, well, how, what do you need to do to make that vision a reality? Okay. And so I'd bet that the one thing that's really missing for most of us when it comes to marijuana and responsibility is number one, awareness. And number two, clarity on what it is that you want. And number three, clarity on exactly how weed serves you powerfully and how it doesn't. And being clear on what you need to be doing in your life to make sure that you're fucking happy whether or not weed is part of the picture. Because this is the thing, guys. If you take three months away from weed, but you don't know, how, you don't learn how to handle your anxiety without it. Once you smoke weed again, you're going to run to it all the time. Why wouldn't you? Okay, because anxiety is not a fun feeling to have. And so if you don't have other ways to feel good about yourself, feel good about your life, feel happy, feel fulfilled, feel whatever you want to feel. If you depend on marijuana for your emotional sense of self, you're fucked. Okay, and the reason I say that is because if you're someone whose emotional life is on a five out of 10 at most without weed, 
and then you smoke weed and it immediately goes to 12 out of 10, what do you think you're going to do? Okay, that's why it's important for you to build a life that doesn't revolve around marijuana so heavily. And so if you do decide to install life back, if you do decide to include marijuana back into your life, it is extremely important that you continue to live your life the way you're living it as if you want to break, right? Like just because you have marijuana, you don't do your morning routine. Just because you have marijuana, you don't apply yourself in your job. Just because you have marijuana, you, you don't handle your life. No. Okay. So this is a process of really changing the role that marijuana plays in your life and changing the role that you play in your life. Okay. Cause people take a break from weed. Oh my God, this is amazing. I went, I went 67 days without weed. My life was going like this. And then they smoke weed again. And then they stop doing everything that got them there. Right. It'd be like if you got in shape, right? Like it took you six months to get a six pack. And then you start to, you know what? I'm going to eat pizza and not work out anymore. Like just because you have a six pack now doesn't mean you, you get to stop. You don't, you got to put in the work every day. And so on a very logical scale, if you guys smoke weed again uncontrollably, your life is clearly going to go downhill. Whereas if you keep doing the things that sustain you, the morning habits, the rituals, the paying attention to your, your relationships, right? Pushing yourself in your, in your business, in your job. If you keep doing those things, you're going to continue going up no matter if weed shows up or not. Okay, because the name of the game is not how can I get weed back in my life? It's how can I fucking make my life go up and up and up, right? Which includes what type of health decisions do I need to make? What type of people in my life serve me well? What kind of job do I even want? Do I even know? Right? And it, it's literally, literally, guys, from my experience, this is about having your life be on track in every, every area, not just weed, but weed especially. Okay? So consider that this is not about weed. This is how can I have my life be in alignment with me? And as it pertains to marijuana... I'll leave you guys with this. You have to be 100% responsible for the outcomes. So if you go a week without weed, that's because you made that decision. And if your life goes back to shit when you have marijuana back in your life, that's on you. Okay? You're still going to need to say no when it's time to say no. That's not going to go away. And so consider that it's easy to say no when you're like, I'm not going to do it at all for five months. It's a different ballgame entirely when you have to be literally wise and responsible and be like, you know, I want to smoke a joint right now. But like, I know that if I smoke a joint right now, that's going to impact my life tomorrow, the day after the day after that. So you have to be someone that is no longer just being run by this. Like, I want to smoke weed. Yeah, yeah. right. You got to actually fucking think. You ought to actually fucking think. I don't, I don't mean that as like a slight to you. I just mean that like. So for example, okay. In my past. Where I would always fall down is. I would continue to get weed. Even though I knew that the right decision was to say no. And so, huh, lo and behold, what's the solution? When it's time to say no, say fucking no, right? And that's where you got to get in tune with the shit with yourself. Because what happens is our brains, we're so stuck in anxiety, so stuck in depression, and we're so not even aware of our own mind that the mind is like, let's smoke weed, let's smoke weed, let's smoke weed. And you get so laser focused on that thought that there's no ability to think long term. And so it is your be in your best interest to start recognizing that like weed craving voice and understand that you don't have to honor that voice, okay? Your life is way too fucking important to care more about weed than yourself. Hell no, all right? So, like I said, this is not just about marijuana. This is about you being in alignment with yourself, all right? So, cut the shit, be honest with yourself, 
stop playing victim so hard and make moves right you you are you give yourself more credit like and i get it like i i have to talk about this with my coach all the time like and and the the process of me transforming my relationship with marijuana is a coming from a place of self love and what's crazy is saying yes to marijuana can be a form of self love and saying no to marijuana can be a form of self love you just have to know you just have to know you okay and if you're like, Gabe, this all sounds good and I know it vibes, it resonates, but I still don't know what the fuck's going on, reach out to me, email me, Instagram message me, and let's get you sorted out, all right? I'm here to help you, but you deserve better and you know this, right? Not only do you deserve to use marijuana if you want to, but you also deserve to put that shit down if like it's not serving you. So I don't know. I'll leave you guys with that for today. Hopefully this was a message that resonated with you. Um, Kobe. Shit. Anyways, um, love you guys. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good weekend. I'm positive that I'll be uh, uploading videos over the weekend. But until then, all right, let me know in the comments down below what resonated with you in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.